So how do we create uh, diffusion weighted images or DWI? So first, let us create the mother sequence, and this is the T2 weighted image. Recall that in spin echo sequence, uh, we create uh, an image by uh, using a 90 degree excitatory pulse followed by a 180 degree refocusing pulse, uh, which is then followed by the echo. In DWI, we use uh, two equal gradients. So we create, uh, we use two equal gradients, one before and one after this 180 degree pulse. So for example, a water with, a water proton within an infarcted tissue will not be able to move much. Therefore, it will get hit by the defacing gradient and the refacing gradient and this results to an increase or sustained signal so to give an analogy uh, imagine these protons inside a small box uh, and they can't move much because they are relatively static molecules and we will uh, provide two gradients one defacing ink gradient denoted by the blue and a uh, refacing gradient denoted by the red arrow. So when we hit the first gradient and the second gradient, uh, they will uh, get hit by both. Therefore, a uh, hyper intense signal is seen on our images. So this is the example um, when a tissue is static or for example in an infarcted tissue um, on the other hand when uh, water is moving about just like this and we give them a defacing gradient and a refacing gradient what happens is that when the refacing gradient is given the molecules have already moved therefore there's a reduction in the signal this is the example when we provide signal and it hits the freely moving CSF so what are ADC images so T2 is the mother DWI is the Sun or DWI of different B values are the suns, and then ADC is the grandson. This means we cannot have an ADC without the DWI. And we actually need two DWI, so we have a lower B value and a higher B value, for example, a B0 and a B1000. Um, so how do we make the ADC images? So let us look at this graph. We notice that both tissues, whether it's restricted diffusion or having a normal diffusion, it will exhibit a gradual loss of signal with greater degree of the B value. However, when we compare the two, tissues with restricted diffusion exhibit a relative less loss of signal compared to this normal tissue. If we rewrite this graph, and then plot it in a logarithmic scale, we will see something like this. So, um, there is slow loss of signal in this uh, graph, in this uh, liver tumor, while there is slow loss of signal, fast loss of signal, I'm sorry, for this normal liver parenchyma. So what we do after that is we tell the computer or the MRI machine to create a map. And we will tell the map or the MRI machine that the tissues with a slow loss of signal, such as this one, the liver tumor, will be uh, plotted as a dark signal. While those tissues with fast loss of signal, denoted by this uh, sharp, slope um, would be
plotted as a bright signal on the images. So we will get something like this. An area with low signal in the imparted uh, tissue or in other case in tumor or hypercellular tissue. Um, if uh, you're interested in the math of creating the ADC, we will talk about it in the next slide.